third shot, par five fifth. I mean, this is just adding fuel to the fire right here. Uh, beautiful two shots to get there. Easy birdie to extend the lead. And then at the sixth, a tribute to Augusta Nationals par three 16th. She grew up in Seneca, South Carolina. It's a couple of hours from Augusta National. We've seen that shot a lot, haven't we, through the years at 16? Yeah, and here she's she's just showing off. That's left with some heat on it. I did get a little bit of stop. They may have just pitched into an upslope. But the greens have been firm at times this week. New greens constructed last summer. Golden O'Calla and all those involved in this week. Here's Jennifer Cup show from the bunker. Pretty straightforward bunker shot here, Tom. And even though that was straightforward, she still made it look very easy. She did. Great shot there. So that'll save a par. What a week it has been for 28-year-old Southern California native Jenny Coleman. Just her 26th event, Morgan. And here she is alone in third. Yeah, and I loved watching her interview yesterday after the round. Uh, she and her sister both uh, commit to one shot and, and not kind of give in to second guessing this wind. This one's starting right, drawing a bit towards the hole. Ooh. Pretty nice there. Beautifully done there. I agree with you, Karen. Commitment today from these players is going to be so important in this wind. Yeah, Jerry, it's definitely the smartest play. I mean, right now, especially in her position, six shot leads. She's just thinking about cozy in this one down there. That's, you would have liked it just a little more cozy. Jenny Coleman, what a great performance this has been here in Ocala for Coleman. And it continues to be. She'd never had a top 25 finish prior uh, to this week. Peter Friends to go through. Fortunate the ball didn't end up in the bunker. This was so much easier to get it up and down. A little bobble. Well, here is the young American Jennifer Chang. She played in that Augusta National Women's Amateur as well. Third shot at 14. <laughs> what do you think? The ball is significantly above her feet, but she's playing it a bit back in her stance to compensate for that. She's been working a lot with her dad on being more creative on those types of shots and, and being able to flight the ball. And she did make a good assessment of the lie, too. Oh, this is drifting. Oh, towards the hole. Is it a bit bright? It's close. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's something about that shot that fits her eye, that's for sure. Incredible. You just really couldn't hardly make it up. Rallied from behind to win the Augusta National Women's Amateur, and here, a tribute hole. And yesterday from a similar lie, she pulled the same club pretty far left into the pine straw, but today manages to not release the club as much. Oh, oh it comes all the way around. Wow, the how did that not go in? Cup. Incredible. Fourth shot here at the par 512. Pitching ends not on her mind here. Just getting it up there close, and that was a really smart shot. Didn't go for the open face lob, just let the terrain take care of the needed loft. Here's the third for Jenny Coleman. At 13. So she's going to have that to remain nine under. Jennifer Chang. And there's that. Tucked hole location at the 16th, which Chang finds. She's got a chance at her career best finish. To Jennifer. Didn't open the face much at all. Just, ooh, actually dug a little more than she was hoping for right there on the downhill slope. Close, but it didn't. Well, this, how close did it come to catching the top of the bunker? A little too close for my comfort. Jenny and her sister started a garden over COVID. 
and they struggled as a fellow plant parent, I can relate. They struggled to keep the plants alive <laughs> while they were traveling. The signal was for a, a nine iron. She's got more room behind it. There is a backstop. A few groups come through. Jenny Coleman at the 15th. Thought that was gonna be a little quicker than it was. Little right of the hold, nice and low though. And back to this course and this part. This is slippery down the hill. She was playing for that backstop with her second shot and it just stayed up there. And Tied for third place, Jenny Coleman. This is such an important finish for her to get her season started off to where she doesn't really have to pay much attention to the priority list for next year. Work on keeping her card. Mm. She can, if she has a... The 15th and Kupcher has taken a drop in the drop zone as her third. Yeah, from about 107. There is that big tier that she has to negotiate in this green. Is it going to stay up on the top level? No, I think it's going to meander back to the bottom level. So this is getting worse here for Cup Joe. Second for Jenny Coleman. Flag today, front right. And it's going to creep up onto the upper level. That would be perfect for the whole location yesterday. Coleman trying to deal with the ridge that she's going to go over right there. Downhill all the way to the hole. It's going to move right to left. I tell you what, I tell you what, it's in the middle. That's okay, that's in. Doesn't matter if it's up against the flag. So Jenny Coleman breaks out of a tie for third. Third on her own, it's going to be her career best finish. This one, 59 yards, she is down grain, which will help from these fairways. You can see her trying to hit a big sort of, trying to get as much spin on that as she possibly could with that swing. But from that yardage with that front, front flag, very difficult to get that close. Or just spin the <laughs> heck out of it. <laughs> That was low. That was a guy that reminded me of an Azinger shot right there. Tied for fifth. So birdie here, break out of that tie. And that may take the backstop and come back. No, it's just too much. It wasn't far away from. Say she doesn't want to get this one too far past the hole, but we just watched Jenny make a bomb. But that's a perfect leave right there. I think she was worried it was yep. going to pitch short and come back because there is a rise up at the front of that green. But this is the 17th. Cupcho. For Cupcho, figures to be in the mix at the Solheim Cup. This is going to be with Austin Ernst now. 12 of the 17 winners because nobody does play perfect golf and you don't have to play perfect golf to win and she proved that today the last time there was a six shot winner on the lpga tour it was nasa hataoka the runner-up was austin ernst today she's the champion by six i'll make it five now after the cup chill birdie austin ernst a decisive victory